Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay. Thank you for clicking on the video and joining me today. So um, I am starting a buddy colour with the lovely Imogen from Colouring Kid. If you um, are not um, familiar with her channel, I highly recommend watching her videos. She's a brilliant coloured pencil artist and she her, her pictures using coloured pencil are gorgeous. I mean she does use other media as well but I really really like how she uses coloured pencil and her pictures come out looking absolutely beautiful. So we both recently um, bought the Mythomorphia colouring book by Kirby Rosans um, from the works in the UK and we just recently bought it. I know this book's been out for quite a while and we decided we'll do a buddy colour. So the picture that we are both going to do is this um, fire dragon from um, Mythmorphia and um, yeah it's a single page so hopefully it's not going to take too long um, but I don't want to rush it, I, I want to take my time as well so I intend to show parts of me completing um, this picture so the first thing that I want to start with which I usually do start with the background with most of my pictures um, I've decided I'm going to use a um, black background I'm going to use this Deco Art Americana um, matte lamp ebony black paint for the background and then probably over it I'm going to put this um, clear ice comet galaxy glitter so um, I have three um, brush sorry what not water brushes normal paint brushes that you have I've got a size 3 a size 8 and then a 0 so um, you can get these from Amazon um, that's where I bought mine from and then I've got a little little baby palette here um, that I'm going to use to put my um, deco out. Let's give it a good mix um, and then I'm just going to put on this scrap paper a little bit of the paint as I use it and I'm going to start it on camera and then um, I shall leave that there Bring you in a little bit there. I'm just going to start with this. I've got some paper underneath just in case if I go over it. The paper's quite nice in, in this book, and I'm going to start with the eight. I probably need a lot more paint, but I just, um, I mean, there's no nothing special here, but I just, just you know, spread it on basically. Um, I really do like using black acrylic paint. In fact, the first backgrounds that I used to do was with black acrylic paints um, rather than, you know, using anything else because really that's, um, it's quite a simple technique. So I usually use the big brush for the big parts, the big areas of course, which is what you would expect. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go in, just give that a little clear in some water. If you leave the paint on, the brushes do um, the brushes do sort of dry, and that's not what you want to happen to your brushes. So yeah, I hope everybody's doing well, um, and you know things are going good so um, in the UK the schools are gonna open in September so I don't know when I'll release this video I might have already um, gone back to work by the time I release this video because I'm actually recording this um, on Sunday the 30th of August because I'm actually going to do this video in parts and so you won't realise because what I'll do is I'll just clip I'll just um, sort of click them not click the join the join the clips together so that it's um, one part okay so I need to get in this because these are a few flames it's actually quite therapeutic using paint. It's relaxing. So 
So yeah, um, if you can hear that sort of noise in the background, that's because some trees are getting chopped down. Um, well, not chopped down fully, but you know, trimmed. Otherwise, they just grow too big. Whoops, gone a bit wrong there, but sort of try to rescue it. Right, so there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to carry on with this um, and then when in the next clip, which will be like a second for you, um, but quite a few minutes for me, um, I'll show you the next step, which is where I'm going to add the DecoArt Galaxy Glitter. Because I want the... Um, I want a really big contrast between the um, the colours that I use for my fire dragon and of course the fire that it's um, releasing and the black background so I think that's that's what made me pick this black background really so I wanted a high contrast oh I'm getting out of frame here The deco art is just brilliant, it's just a brilliant paint to use. Okay, so I'll carry on and um, pause it here. Okay, so here I am back um, with my completed black background um, with my Fire Dragon page. So I think it looks really nice. I mean, black is just, it is my favourite colour, even though in fact it's the lack of colour but anyway we won't get into that so the water dragon which is on the opposing page you can see I've got some um, black acrylic paint on that as well so I'm more likely than not going to do that with a black background as well when I get to it but anyway back to this page um, I am now going to put on the deco art galaxy glitter so this is the clear ice comet and give that a good shake first so again I'm just going to show you a little bit on camera so you get to see me um, actually placing it onto the page and then I'll probably do the rest um, on my in my own time and then show you the completed version so let's bring it in a little bit so you get a bit of a closer view like that hopefully there and now I'm going to just bring this here so you can see look at that delicious glittery goodness there um, and then um, just place that on here and I really really like using this and um, I've got some other shades as well um, sort of bronze and Silver, I think I've got as well. A green one I've got as well. Um, but yeah, this is quite quick to put on. And I'll probably do the same sort of background for the opposing page, you know, with the water dragon. But I'm not, I'm not going to complete that yet because uh, I'll be forever. But I'm only focusing on my buddy colour at the moment with lovely Imogen from Colouring Kid. Um, so now... I'm going to use this finer brush to get in here. Um, you probably didn't see me do the bottom bit of the book because I was off camera, so I do apologise for that. Um, I'm still learning how to... I'm still not great at making um, sort of these colour on camera videos. But I'm more confident than I used to be. Um, let's pull this up there, so hopefully you can see, yep, hopefully you're in, yep, I'm in frame, so that's good. So, yeah, this Mythomorphia book, some of the pictures um, I really do like, 
but I do like the Worlds in Worlds um, of Kirby Roseanne's book better than than this one. Um, but there are some, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a lovely book as well, it's got lovely pictures in it. But Worlds in Worlds is probably my favourite. I think lots of people, um, lots of people um, sort of liked the Kirby Roseanne's Worlds Within Worlds book the most from all of his releases. Everyone was just so impressed by the pictures. And then I think he's got Fragile World as well. Um, Fragile World, I think that's coming out in February 2021. So that's something to look forward to. Most definitely. So I hope you can see the um, glitter coming onto this page here because it's very lovely. When is glitter not lovely? Um, yeah. So I'm going to continue with this and then hopefully come back on show you the completed page with the glitter over it all and then um, sort of show you the next bit. So the next bit, I haven't really fully made my mind up yet but um, I am thinking of, so I am actually thinking of um, using pencil, of course, for the, whoops, a big dollop on there then. Um, you thinking of using pencil on the, um, whoops, body of the dragon. I mean, I will use embellishments in the end when I've done most of the picture, but um, I'm thinking of using pencils and I'm thinking of using my Black Widow pencils. I just need to complete sweat swatching them out yet because I just got the Monarch pencils recently and in the Black Widow range and um, I used, I think it's Pamela's Passion for pencils. Um, I hope I'm not wrong there, who made a lovely chart on a video and I followed it and sort of put my pencils in order. I just need to swatch them out. So yeah, um, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here is my completed background um, so far. I'll actually bring you in a little bit so that you can see it better. So um, it's the matte deco art black acrylic paint and then I have the Deco Art Galaxy Glitter um, Clear Ice Comet on top um, so yeah I hope you can see all the shine light in the background because I really really like that so now I'm going to work on the dragon itself and um, I'll just do this in clips so most of you will have the lovely Black Widow pencils that are just absolutely gorgeous pencils. So I've decided to use those for, for the dragon and so I've split into two bits um, so you could even colour along if you've, if you've got them. Um, it includes the new um, Monarch set as well. So um, this being the underbelly of the dragon. So in the underbelly of the dragon I'm going to use um, sort of blues and greens so I have um, let's bring this in there's a lot of noise outside so I'm gonna just pause okay sorry about that the noise um, so this is the background as I was saying um, oh yeah I've already done that bit gosh what am I like anyways um, I forgot where I got up to and right so that's the background and now I'm gonna I'm gonna color the underbelly with Black Widow pencils and the rest of it as well, the rest of the dragon with, with um, Black Widow pencils. So for the underbelly, let me just check that I've got that right because I have sort of planned it out. Um, so yeah, for the, for the underbelly of the dragon I'm going to use blues and greens. So this bit here that you can see all the way. And so I'm going to use uh, the following colours. I'm going to use navy blue, 
um, MN123. Um, so I'm going from darkest to light, um, my blend basically. Blue Daisy MN113, Storm Blue MN064, Opal MN097, Turquoise SC30, uh, Emerald MN120. So that's what we're going to use for the underbelly. Um, and I'm going to start off hopefully with this starting I think from here um, I'm just going to colour a section and I'm going to start with my lightest colour so let's see if I can bring you in a little bit more from here so starting here I'm just going to lightly put down I don't think I've ever coloured with pencil on a video I don't think I can remember doing so. Yeah, so yeah, just very lightly. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of this on camera and complete the rest um, off camera. So, yeah, excuse the background noise of boys, I think they're playing football or something like that. So yeah, that's um, the lightly covered with emerald and then now I'm going to use the turquoise and going around sort of the edges and sort of bringing it closer to the centre. Again, quite a light hand. So my first impressions of how the Black Widows are working on this paper um, the Mythomorphy papers, they're really nice, but time will tell if um, the layers can go on um, well or not. So next is the opal. Again, I'm working in from the outside. And sort of layering it up really again quite light I'm not really using any real pressure here so that's that one and then next is storm blue we'll see how we get on because it might be um, that you know it doesn't You know, it, it, um, I don't need all the colours that I've chosen. But I did want the underbelly to be a sort of a bluey green blend. So, yeah. So, that's that one. And then the next one's on my fifth colour. I've got six colours all together. And this is Blue Daisy. Um... So I'm not going into the centre as much with, with this colour. I'm sort of staying nearer to the edge. Because I don't want to get rid of the lighter colour, lighter colours or the previous layers that I've put down. Alright, that's that one. So it seems to be taking the layers fairly well. A navy blue now, which is my last colour. And that's just going to go on the edges itself and I'm hardly going to work that into the middle. So I'm just really putting that onto the edge like a sort of dark colour there on the edges. And then where, um, where Kirby's putting these lines like these shading lines, I'm just going to put it there as well the darkest colour which is the navy blue ok and then I'm going to get my lightest colour again which is emerald 
and I'm just going to go over the centre just to finalise the blend and just merge it all together really. And that's it. That's basically how um, I'm going to colour the rest of his underbelly. So yeah, I like that blend. I think it's okay. So yeah, I'm going to do the rest of it like that um, in the same way. And then for the rest of the... Let me just bring you out. For the rest of the body, um, the wings and the top part of his body where you can see scales and everything, I'm going to use... Um, purples, reds, purples and reds. Um, so the colours I'm going to use for that are, um, should we start with the lightest? So we'll start with the lightest. So I've got um, deep red, which is CB54. I've got um, brown bug, which is SC15. I've got SC53, which is deep purple. I should have said that the other way around. Um, and then eggplant, which is MN116. And um, co no space, sorry, space, which is from the Cobra set, CB80. Um, so those, those are the colours which I'm going to use on the rest of the body where the scales are and also the wings. So if I just show you a little bit maybe of how I'm going to colour that, I'm not going to do it much different to how I coloured the underbelly really but I'll just show you anyway so just sharpen my pencils okay so I've sharpened my pencils just to say also um, when I do the when I colour um, the wings this on the bits here which is sort of the underside of the wings because it's so dark here I will probably use a grey as well so I'll use one of the um, I'll use one of the Black Widow greys, if I just show you here, I might just use one of these, so probably, I don't know, medium grey, flat flat black and maybe um, the Black Widow or even the Midnight, just to get that um, shadow in. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit on camera um, and then I will complete it off camera and then I'll show you the finished bit and that will be end of part one uh, hopefully and then um, after that I will probably do the the stone bit the rock that this fiery dragon is on um, and then the embellishments in in part two I can manage all of that and fit it in. So I'm just using first of all the deep red to lightly cover the body of um, the dragon. So I'm going to do it up to here, up to his little arm like that. And then I'm going to add the next colour which is the brown bug. So I'm just actually just layering this down and covering most of where I've put the first colour down except leaving this edge here with the original colour oh I do apologise I haven't brought you in close enough see I'm such a novice when it comes to um, doing these colour and chat well not colour and chat but you know what I mean it's where I'm colouring on camera So yeah, I'm only leaving this little bit here um, without this second brown book colour and I'm not I'm not pressing on either uh, hard. So I've got uh, the deep purple next. So just covering all of the initial layer here at the top because it's just a narrow bit. And then... It is so relaxing using pencils as well. You know, when you're doing layering, it can be so relaxing. You're not always in the mood to use, well, I'm not always in the mood to use pencils. Sometimes 
um, I just want to use markers and just um, straight colour and then maybe even put pencil on top of my marker. Right, next colour is eggplant. So again, uh, this is going straight onto the original layers. But I'm keeping to this uh, right hand edge next to the underbelly. And just fading it out. Slightly more pressure than the earlier layers now. Yep, that looks all right. Okay, so that's that. And then the final pencil is space. Um, and again, I'm just going to go over the original layers, keep to the right edge next to the underbelly now. Maybe, and not extend it actually now, not extend it as much as my previous pencil. Because I want this edge to be sort of the darkest. So I am pressing on now to get this edge sort of darker like that okay and then um, I'm going to come back with my lightest colour which is the deep red and I'm going to start off from here, not pressing on hard, um, not pressing on hard, just lightly going over this. On top. And then very lightly, just go very, very lightly because I'm actually going to probably put white on the edge here, on that edge. Um, there's a little tiny bit of a highlight, so if I can find my white pencil, I can use snow or cosper, so I'll probably use snow. So put white in there, keep that pencil out as well actually. I could have used my Luminance um, white or the Holbein soft white for this bit but I haven't got it here next to me so I won't be using that. Um, and that's it I think. Uh, Maybe take my other colour over it again, just, this is the eggplant, I'm just going over it again in the same order as before, and then after my eggplant, before my eggplant I had deep purple as well, which I think was a little bit more reddish in colour. Yeah, so I might do two layers actually, just to... Um, intensify the colours. So this now is the brown bug again. So sort of play it by ear until you're happy with it. And then my final deep red. That's it. Yeah, I'm feeling happier about that now. Okay, so um, that is... Oops, sorry. Wrong way, wrong way. Right, so that is what I'm going to do off camera now. I'm going to complete the underbelly and I'm going to complete the rest of the body and the wings in the ready purple colour. And um, yeah, underneath the wings, I'll, like I said, I will use some greys and maybe even blacks over here because there's a lot of shadow and shade there. And then hopefully show you the completed um, picture 
for the end of it, part one and then in the next part uh, work on the rock it's on and the rock that it's standing on and also maybe other bits and pieces like um, the fire etc. Okay. Okay, so this is my completed um, dragon, well, the, the parts that I said I was going to work on, which are the um, main body of the dragon, including the wings and the underbelly. So, um, yeah, I'm fairly pleased with how that turned out, and I've also, of course, completed the background. So that concludes part one of my body colour with the lovely Imogen from Colouring Kid. I think in the next part I may possibly, I keep changing my mind, but probably continue to work on the dragon including the head, these horn sort of things and the flames. Um, so yeah, I might continue working on the dragon in part two, um, but we'll see how it goes. Until then, um, take care of yourself. Bye.